Hi, it's Greta from Attention Insight. Today, we will look at using our plugin on Figma, leading platform for creating and editing graphics and designing user interfaces for teams and individuals. Here, I chose a product landing page above the fold. To test the design, I'll click Plugins, Attention Insight, and Analyze Design. Now we see that Clarity score is 75%, which is optimal clarity. Let's click Get More Insights and find out how much percentage of attention each element gets individually. I will select the heading, body text, and the image with the person. The latter is 31%, the heading is 28%, body text 12 and the main CTA is 3%. At the moment, most users' attention goes to the image of the person. However, we would like the heading and the CTA to get more attention. Let's go back to the Figma software and create a copy of the artboard with the landing page. I will then edit the design to get the desired results. First, I will change the color of certain elements, including the call to action button. So the contrast between the CTA and the background is higher. I will increase the text size and the leading of the heading, as well as will increase the body text size. Users notice large elements more easily. In order to minimize the contrast between the photograph and the background, I will change the color of the background behind the photo to a lighter one. And the main background color, I will change to a less dark one as well. The background behind the text, I want to make slightly darker, so the text stands out more and is more visible. I will increase the size of the color block behind the text and the centered text block. I will also minimize the photograph to create visual hierarchy by increasing negative space around the photograph. Again, I will select plugins, attention insight, analyze design. Clarity score now is 79%, which is 4% higher than the original design. I will click Get more insights and we'll see how much each element will increase in percentage. CTA is 5%, heading is 34%, body text is 12 and the picture of a man is 22%. I will click Create new comparison. We can see that CTA attention increased 2% and headings 6%. The body text kept the same percentage of attention, and the percentage of the image of man decreased. We can now state that our goal was reached. Thank you for watching, and see you in my next videos.